when you're starting an online business, it has become one of the most exciting opportunities for entrepreneurs. So however, to thrive, it's super competitive in this landscape right now. So aspiring business owners really need to equip yourself with the knowledge and the right tools so that you can really, really thrive. So um, in this educational episode that we've prepared for you today, we want to provide um, a comprehensive must-have list for setting up your online business successfully. And welcome back to Beyond Common Business Secrets. I'm your host, Tracy Watt Serino, and you are in for a treat because today, today in our episode, we are diving deep into building your online business, all the must have essentials for success. This is one of those questions. I would love to know if you guys could share with us, you could post in the comments or send us an email. Let me know how many of you currently have an online business or would like to, right? This is also you um, on our YouTube channel, right under in the comments, you can let us know there too, because those are like the three places that um, is best to comment. So here's the thing. Let us know how many of you have an online business or how many would like to, because we get asked this question all the time from, from clients, from students, and just even, um, some of our podcast, um, audience that just will, you know, send us emails and messages. They are, they'll ask, um, if we can do more stuff in the area of online, that that's what they're interested in. So we are delivering it big time and in a big beyond common way today. So I hope you're ready for it. Buckle up. Buckle up if you're driving. If you're if you're not, get out a pen and pencil because it is time to take some serious notes. We are going to spill all the tea and we want to provide as much value as possible in this episode. So think about it this way. In the digital age, like it's not coming, it's here. When you're starting an online business, it has become one of the most exciting opportunities for entrepreneurs. So however, to thrive, it's super competitive in this landscape right now. So aspiring business owners really need to equip yourself with the knowledge and the right tools so that you can really, really thrive. So um, in this educational episode that we've prepared for you today, we want to provide um, a comprehensive must-have list for setting up your online business successfully. We want to walk you through going from initial stages of idea generation to website development. So um, we're going to touch on digital marketing and customer engagement and even explore different tips, tools, resources to help you build a thriving business when you're just starting out. So that's what we have planned for. So consider this episode more of like a masterclass, right? You literally can take what you're going to what you're going to learn and, and discover in today's episode and go set up a business, right? So that's what we're diving into today. And that is um so exciting cuz I I love to talk about online business. So we want to talk about the idea of how do you take it from idea to launch and the steps to starting your own um, online business. So step one is going to be that you really identify an area that will be profitable. So you want to identify a profitable online business. It's like an idea and a target audience. So what a lot of a lot of the businesses that we work with are they already have like a face to face type of business so what we call like a brick and mortar business but they want to have another stream of revenue or another source of income and this is a great way to set up your online business like so it can be your additional source of revenue 
Um, this is how I got started in the online space when I still had a brick and mortar business before things changed. And I went into more coaching, consulting and speaking and like becoming a course creator. So the thing is, is that when you do it this way, you can build like more of a cushion, which is really nice. And you do it from the standpoint of really testing it out. So that tends to be the case. Um, we're going to help you think about this in a way that's like from day one, identify a profitable online business. You want your idea to be profitable and for a target audience. The thing is, is that if people are like, how you know if it's profitable is like, has anyone heard of it? And people always think, no, it's new. It's so, and here's the thing in the world of online, you want to know that other people are paying money for that because you can spend so much time trying to educate the market that they need something that you will, can run out of cash flow before you get started because it does get lost in the sea of sameness. So you want to think about it in typical areas of, um, that are really profitable off the top of my head that I can remember are like health and wellness, weight loss, um, relationships. So relationship, marriage, uh, activities, like activities is like a really good one. Uh, what we do like business consulting and professional development. Then on the other side, you have like personal development and we do some of that with our like bit, I, part of our business is where we just serve customers, right? And we have a lot of courses and things for people that just want to become better humans. So the personal development, the self-love, self-care, that whole piece is really big. So think about it. Um, things in the, the beauty space are, you know, those tend to do really good. So think about areas that are really profitable. And do you have um, an idea that fits online under that. And then who would be the target audience for that? Once you're clear on that, then you want to go into evaluating the market and the competitors. So you need to know who's the best at what you're already doing. Like who's the absolute best and who's doing it, who's doing it well. And then from there, what do you do different? And be honest and true because no, Nobody's doing it the way you do it. So you don't have to copycat or be anyone else. Like I love Mel Robbins to pieces. I love Brene Brown. I'm inspired by Tony Robbins, but I am Tracy Watt Serino and I do what I do really well, only the way I can do it. So think about it. Like those, all your people that inspire you, amazing, but they are very clear on who they are and what they do, right? So I'm very clear that I'm a business growth strategist, right? I help female entrepreneurs get to the next level, untangle all those cords so that there's a clear path. I do that in a way that is different than anyone else. So what is your thing that you do different than anyone else? So think of it this way. So when you, um, but you need to answer, analyze the market, what's happening and find your competitors. That sometimes is an easier way for you to find your unique, what they call the USP, unique selling proposition. I really think it's like your unique core story. So often I'll have clients come to me and say, I don't know what that is. I don't know. Like they don't know what it is. Here's the thing. It might be so much harder for you to figure it out for yourself. This might be an area where you want to work with a business consultant or coach to help pull it out of you. This is one of my superpowers. I can tell you what it is right away. So this is a thing that I was doing for people long before I even know you could build a career about this. I could just, I would see it and I would say it. So, um, yeah, so this is an area that's really hard, even if you're really good at it. Um, for others, it's hard to do for yourself. So this could be an area for that. And But if you're like, okay, I, I don't want to go there. The other thing that you can do is look at what your competitors are doing and what you do different, like what's the opposite. And maybe it lies within that. Sometimes it's just like, can be really clear. Um, but if you try to focus on figuring it out from the level of, oh, I don't know, I don't know. It's never going to come. So you need to like, 
look at it from a different approach. So then after you've got that and you cannot move on until you've evaluated the market and you're really clear on what you're going to do, that's unique, bigger, better, different, right? Because if you don't have anything unique to bring to the market, don't start a business, right? So it's like, do this part or, or don't, but don't continue. And People get a little angry when I say that, but I'm serious. Do not waste a minute of your time or money on doing the next steps if you have not clearly identified what you're going to do different. And here's the thing, not saying it's going to be forever because I have changed mine so many times throughout my businesses. You can't look at it like you have to be committed for life. It's not something you're going to be handcuffed to for life, but you have to decide what it is now to move forward because it's going to make everything else that we talk about in your online business easier to set up. So next, the very next point is going to be, you're going to create a business plan. Now, back in the day, you had to create like a solid business plan. Uh, It could be loosey goosey on a napkin. It does not matter. Setting, but setting a clear goal for what you want your online venture to be is going to be really important. And then from there, once that's clear, and and this could be a one pager, it doesn't have to be that involved. You might want to dive deeper and make a marketing strategy and all of that stuff. Um, It's going to be important, but to get started, you need to have something so that it's clear for you because your ideas might start going off the rails. It's more of like your bumper guards on your own creativity at this point. So then the next thing is from there, once that's clear and you have clear goals for what your online business adventure is going to look like, then you can go through the process of registering a domain select, you know, so you want to get a domain name and then you want to select a hosting site and build a, here's the thing. You do not have to go build some fancy website. You build a one page, a simple one page. And there's tons of, um, there's tons of softwares that make this super easy. I'll include some in the show, in the show notes in links to my favorites. I've tried them all. And again, like I've grown in my tech savviness over the years, but you're talking to a girl that couldn't even turn on a computer um, not that long ago. So here's the thing. We can learn hard things and we can overcome them and actually become literally experts of brilliance in certain areas, right? So really understand that you can do this. And you, there's so many more viable options than there ever was before. So we also will talk about like the must have tools. So next we're going to go into like, what are your must have tools for managing your online business effectively? Well, you need to have payment gateways and secure transaction ops options. So all of your customer experience is seamless. And then you should have um, essential like productivity tools that streamline operations So I like a lot of the, like when I said you can use like some of the new one page design type of tools for your one page websites, which a lot of times people call these like a lead magnet or a sales funnel, but it is one page. It's, it's one page on your website that leads people to one thing, one offer, one thing. And that's the best way to get started. So you can see, is it viable? Before you go out and spend all this money, nobody cares about a fancy website. It just needs to be clean, clear, crisp, and deliver what you say it does. So these kind of things come together with these tools. There's more efficiency tools where you can bring everything together. And then where you can also analyze Um, utilize the analytics and data so you can keep making informed decisions on, hey, is this um, form of advertising working the best? Is this link working? And then you can also think about your CRM, which is your customer relationship management system. That's going to help you really monitor and manage your customer engagement. So anything that helps you keep track of who's really loving your products and services and, you know, that type of thing you really want to keep track of. So then from there, the next step is to really think about your digital marketing strategies. 
You want to map all of this out before you begin because there is a level of digital marketing that needs to happen and you don't want it to swallow you or take over your whole life, but you do want it to be consistent. So you want to make sure that once you hit go, that you're committed to it for the long haul and that you're putting the time and energy into it that you need. So that's going to be crystal clear for you there. Then through these, through all of these like systems for online social strategies, you'll be able to think about, do you want to use SEO and maybe start blogging and doing more online visibility that way? If you only have one, one product, one thing to start with, I wouldn't spend time there. I would just be really clear about my one page offer. Make that super profitable instead of spending time because people have you waste a ton of time over there. Um, Then leveraging the social media, pick one platform. You can be everywhere, but pick one platform that you are going to be consistent, be known and be everywhere. That will create the domino effect, the ripple effect. And then you need to be um, building a, a marketing list. So the first piece of business is to start growing an effective email list. That's going to be where all of your potential buyers and customers live. So it's super important that you start building a loyal customer base and you start driving Um, you just start driving conversations and then from there it'll drive sales. So that is going to be the, um, all the steps overall, but the real importance is that from, from beginning to end, you map it all out and I'm going to share it to you in a more of a bulleted form next, but it's really important that you look at each segment, like, okay, so we talked about, like, if we were saying this as a top you know, as your, just your, your list. So here are the 12 things that you need. So think of your business idea. What's the market research? How's it going to meet the demand? Then next would be your business plan. Like, how are you going to go after your target market? What are the different revenue streams that you're going to get from this online business? Then you go into finding your domain, right? Finding your domain and then setting up your one page. Then you tie it to some type of e-commerce platform. And next, you'll make sure you have a payment gateway in that everything is protected. And then number six is that you'll be very clear about what your product or service offerings are. And then the next part is you can um, do search engine optimization only if it is going to be more than one page at this point. Then number eight is content marketing. Really make sure that you're creating lots of content. Number nine is going to be your social media presence. 10 is email marketing. 11 is going to be your customer support system. A lot of these can be strung together with my favorite software, which is FG Funnel Software. It's amazing because it'll string all of these together. I'll make sure I include um, a link in the show notes. And then the analytics and tracking. Um, so this is all strung together in that way. So you, this is literally the 12-step checklist you need to go and start your online business today. We will give you lots of resources, tools, ideas for how to take this even further. But you, it's all up to you. You can take this list and go take Inspired Beyond Common Action And let us know how it's going with your business. In the comments below, share. Share what you're doing with your business checklist and how it's going. We cannot wait to hear from you. As always, I hope you're having the most beyond common business, wealth, abundance, growth, and success of your dreams. And I cannot wait to see you on the next one. Take care. 